This short video is to show how to replace a thermistor on a KitchenAid under the counter ice maker that was purchased in 2022, model number KUIX535HPS00. I've added a link to the right thermistor part in the description. The reason why I'm replacing the thermistor is because I noticed our ice maker was making ice constantly and was always extremely full of ice even though the max ice button was not turned on. When the ice maker never stops making ice, there's a great chance that your thermistor has gone bad and needs to be replaced. The very first thing to do is to turn off the power. And I removed the ice just for convenience because the ice was all the way up to, to the top. In order to change the thermistor, remove this plastic guard. On these newer models, there are no, no screws underneath. The older models, there are some screws that first need to be removed. But for this, this newer model, this was purchased in uh, 2022. Uh, for this model, there's there's actually no no screws, and so the way that you do this is you just pull this uh, takes a little second. There we go. Pull it straight forward, and there it goes. So on the back, you can see these are some little little tabs, little guards that snap right on and so just pulling that straight back uh, we'll remove that and then also notice on the top there's some little uh you know little guides and when you put it back in those just go in in top okay now with the top off we can see where the thermistor so this is the thermistor here the the wiring goes back behind this uh, bracket and let's see if we can get a little closer up in there. There we go. So you can see here, this is where the connector uh, connects up. And so uh, first thing to do here before we remove it is to, it is, it is kind of tight in here. Um, let's see which way is the best. There we go. So you kind of push push in that that little uh, release, and then and then now you can uh, you can remove this thermistor. The next thing that we need to do is unscrew it. Okay. Make sure that screw doesn't go down your drain. Turn this a little bit. That will come right out. Okay, so we have this this old thermistor. This one is bad. It's not detecting the um, temperatures correctly, and so I've purchased a new one. And so all we need to do is snap off the old one. It just pops straight out and then you pop in the, the new one. Okay, so now I have the, the new thermistor uh, added, you know, pushed into this little bracket. And now uh, what I want to first do is screw this in a little bit just by hand to hold it into, into place so I can get the wire plugged in up top. Okay, so now I want to make sure that I go back behind this bracket and the camera, I can't get my head down in here, but let's see if we can get it in. Okay, there we go. And it just snaps right in. 
you'll hear that click in. And again, make sure this wire is back behind this bracket, behind the where it screws in. And that looks secure. And now all we have left is on this thermistor is to just tighten this screw back up. And you don't need to don't need to over tighten that. Okay. And so we're good. You just want to make sure that the wiring is not close to the, the heating coils that, that slice the ice. And that looks great. Now, all that I have left is to snap this guard back in place. And that's it. Now, that I've got the, the new thermistor installed. I open this back up and power it back on. And I don't need the max ice, I will turn that off. And also I need to order a, a filter, which I've done. It actually arrives tomorrow. And I'm all set. Now tomorrow morning, I will come in and, and see if, if the ice has moved up to the bottom of that thermistor where it should or if it continues to go up up higher and that's it